For the past year, Winnipeg Transit has been experimenting with two types of fare boxes that accept dollar bills. One is a sophisticated American-made model that takes in a dollar bill easily. It also has a slot for coins with an electronic readout informing the driver how much has been inserted. The trouble is the mechanism jams if a dollar bill is mistakenly inserted into the slot for coins, as sometimes happens. And lint from mitts or gloves will cause the box to jam. The other type is a simpler Australian-made model, but transit officials aren't happy with it either. They don't think it's sturdy enough and are concerned about its long-term durability. Transit bought 30 of both kinds of the boxes to give them a trial because its existing 50-year-old boxes aren't designed to accept dollar bills. They tend to jam up when a dollar bill is inserted, which is frequently because the fare is 85 cents. But transit operations manager Bill Link feels that will become less of a problem because of the planned introduction later this year of the dollar coin. He hopes passengers will use dollar coins rather than bills. Oh, most definitely. Uh, uh, we would like to see the dollar bill completely discontinued. Uh, the dollar coin uh, would be much better for anyone that's dealing in, in, in a fare system. The 30 fare boxes for the year-long trial cost $156,000, but Link says it was money well spent. Ted Weatherhead, CBC News, Winnipeg.